times. Does your bro play comp? Base God, he doesn't. I mean, he has in the past. Um, he's just not, you know, a known player. Holy Christ. Um, yeah. That, that plays competitive, you know. I kind of branched off. Uh, there's a funny story I'll tell you guys here going into this game. Um, I'm host, so I'm going to go Sentinel. But uh, way, way back in the day, he had the Xbox 360. You know, he was really into baseball. Um, we're talking about high school days and stuff. and Or middle school days as well. And um, I would play COD 4 literally for so many hours, dude. Like, he could never get a chance to play. So it kind of sucked because I mean he was a really good, he's always been a really good student and just a really good talented baseball player in general. So um, I you know wasn't the, wasn't the, the greatest student in the world, but I wasn't like the worst either. You know what I mean? Like I I still had good grades. Um, but I would play literally the crap out of Call of Duty Four, where literally to the point where he could not even get on his own system. Um, so I actually had to end up buying my own system because you know. Uh, my brother and oh my brother and my mom gave me a lot a lot of crap for playing um, they're like yeah you know you always play those damn video games so much that's all you do is sit up in your room and play and you know they thought that like my social life would be struggling and I guess like my grades were obviously struggling I wasn't working I wasn't playing any sports they they wanted me to do more I guess in a way or, or something better but um, I just enjoyed playing video games so much that I just, I just kept playing and, and playing and playing. And, you know, freshman year, I, I broke my arm playing baseball. Uh, just literally throwing the baseball, I ended up breaking my humerus all the way through and through. Um, and this is when I literally, like, I, this is when I was a big, big Halo guy. So I played a bunch, a bunch of Halo. Still played Call of Duty, obviously, but... Um, Played Halo just because that was the time of Halo Reach. That was a great, great competitive game. Um, and, like, I broke my arm and my cast was literally in, like, a 90-degree angle. So what I did was is that I was still able to play, even though it kind of wrapped, like, in the center of my hand for uh, my cast. I was still able to hold a controller and still play and move and stuff. Um, plus, uh, I, don't think scu I don't think I had a scuff yet, but um, with my injury... Uh, I would still be able to hold like a scuff if I had one, but um, oh shit. So I kept playing Call of Duty 4. It was a huge, huge game for me. After that, I started making YouTube videos, and I kept I started playing 1v1s on um, Modern Warfare 2, and I started posting videos, and I made you know certain commentaries and stuff like that on YouTube. I was like, you know, I want to get into YouTube, um, like. That sounds super fun. I wanted to get some feedback. I wanted to show people what I could do, who I am as a person, and what I am as, you know, what I can offer to the table for being a player. And I started playing and uploading Call of Duty 4 GBs um, onto some World at Wars later on, and then mainly, mainly, mainly Modern Warfare 2. Um, absolutely had some awesome, awesome videos and series going into Modern Warfare 2. Um, and literally, I had, like, the best time of my life posting Modern Warfare 2 videos and posting like game battles matches for uh, all of my viewers on my YouTube channel. When I hit my first thousand subscribers, I was already getting hit up by a, a bunch of other YouTubers who trying to do collaborations with them and really playing with them on a team and and stuff like that. And it really kind of hit me, you know, like, wow, you know, this this is really growing and this is what I really love doing. Um, I have a great time doing it. it there's, there's no, um, like, pressure in it as at all. There's no nothing bad, nothing negative about what I'm doing right now. So completely loved what like YouTube and streaming and stuff like had to offer this is probably when I didn't stream as much I've done YouTube a lot more than I have streaming but um, still like playing video games is really what I enjoy doing and just love doing without a doubt at the at the end of the day I'm always thinking about video games I'm always you know thinking of new ideas for my YouTube for my stream for whatever the case may be um, and it all started from back in the day, Call of Duty 4, where I literally played Xbox so much on my brother's console that I had to buy one for myself. Um, literally so my brother could play. Like, they could not get the controllers out of my hand. Um, and honestly, I don't, I don't regret it at all. Starting YouTube and really, you know, streaming and... and posting videos on YouTube have literally been like the best years of my life without a doubt like I wouldn't even trade it for the world 
Um, like I was trying out for the JV team for that freshman year playing baseball. Even if I made the varsity team, if I was so damn good and played uh, varsity baseball, I just I wouldn't even trade like all my video games for that. Like all my videos, all my experiences, like everything that I have accomplished these last six years of my life have truly been um, one of the, some of the best years of my life without a doubt and I wouldn't trade it for the world and I hope you guys know that I'm still here today I'm still doing it I'm still posting content I'm still uploading videos still streaming practically daily over here on my channel um, like I can't believe how far that we've come how far I've come how much I've, I've actually grown as a person like I remember I made a commentary back in the Modern Warfare 2 days um, it was basically like talking about like some of the fears and stuff that I've had and just kind of just in real life uh, situations when anything was on my mind I could always get on Xbox get in my zone zone everything out and really just play the damn game um, and like completely forget about it like if I did bad on a test I could just easily hop on Xbox and you know play some singles not worry about anything that just happened or what I have to study for next week or any projects do or what my mom or my dad are fighting about or just like yelling at me for or if my brother uh, doesn't really you know talk to me as much because he was playing uh, baseball and just a senior and I was it was just a bunch of stuff going on but uh, video games have definitely been a, a huge huge outlet for me um, and I, th I think a lot of my best friends and a lot of people around me till this day uh, see that you know they see how far that I've come with streaming and doing YouTube and stuff like that like I seriously wouldn't even trade it for the world I don't even know how he didn't die and he just crapped on me no he didn't um but seriously like from the bottom of my heart like I wouldn't even trade everything that I have accomplished for like anything else um, just to have this what I have now and what I used to have has been such a huge huge improvement um, and I still can't believe it like every time every day when I wake up and I see the desk that I'm at or the setup or the games or my YouTube or the Twitch or any I just say wow you know what I mean like just look how far we've come you know I was this frail little scrawny 5'8 looking kid you know with literally that drank seven Dr. Peppers a day who went in as a freshman and, and broke his arm literally throwing the baseball. Um, I made a lot of the like, different life um, life uh, choices, I guess. Oh, what a great kill. I stopped drinking a bunch of sodas. I, I really like got a huge, huge um, mental block in my head about, you know, I drank a bunch, a bunch of sodas. I didn't practice as much. And then, you know, I, I tried out for that, that JV tryout and... I ended up snapping my damn arm in half, so it kind of made me think of of how hard you have to work for something. And really, if 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 you're doing something, I felt like kind of like my dad. He played baseball throughout school and college, and uh, so did my brother. I kind of like was following them in their footsteps in a way. Like um, freshman year, I remember like I wasn't having fun with baseball at all, but um, it was kind of a thing to where me and my brother. And my dad and just my whole family because my mom played softball as well it was just a huge thing for my for the family and stuff to really just connect with them on a level and I just I wouldn't trade it for the world everything that I've done everything all the tournaments all the, the videos all the streams at the end of the day man I wouldn't trade it for the world